Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah. And today, I'm going to show you the best time to shock your swimming pool and how to test your water. So the best thing to do is regularly shock your pool once a week. And the best time to shock is really when the sun has come down or at night. And the reason why at night is because the sun burns off the chlorine too fast during the day and therefore decreases the strength of chlorine. And when your chlorine is low, algae and bacteria start to grow. And this will tell me if my chlorine level is too high or too low and if my pH level is too high or too low. And on this video, I'll only talk about the chlorine level. And on my next video, I will talk about the pH level and alkalinity. Also, if you're new to this channel and you find my video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So as we open up our test kit, you notice we have two bottles. The yellow is for the chlorine and the red is for the pH. And like I said before, today we're going to talk mainly about the chlorine level. Now notice our test cell. On the left side will show us our chlorine and borine level. I only use chlorine. Notice the ideal level is 1.0 and this matches that shade of yellow. But I always like to go just a little bit higher. And the right side is the pH level which matches a shade of pink. And the ideal level is 7.6. But we'll talk about that on our next video. Another good time to shock the pool is after a heavy rainfall such as this. I also use these test strips which work very well. Very easy and simple to use. You take these strips, you dip it in the pool and you color match the chlorine level and the pH level at the back of the bottle. So other good times to shock the pool is after a big party or lots of people in use of the pool. So back to our original test kit. The first thing I do is collect water in my test cell, at least 18 inches away from the jets. I collect the pool water up to that line level right here. The yellow bottle is called auto and is used for chlorine representing the left side of the test cell. While well, the red bottle is called phenol red and is used for the pH level, which we will discuss in our next video, representing the right side of the test cell. Next thing I do is shake our yellow bottle and add four drops into our test cell. Some test kits will ask for four drops or five drops. Make sure to read the instructions. Then I'll take my red bottle phenol and place four drops on the right side on the pH level. Then I take my thumbs and plug the test cell and give it a good shake. Now let's take a look at our test kit and see what we've got. So it looks like our chlorine level is super low. And it looks like the color match is at 0.3, which says to add more chlorine. This means to shock it. This also said my pH is very low and I should add some pH increaser, which I will show you in my next video. Okay, make sure you dump the chemical outside your pool. Never dump it back into your pool. Then I'll safely put the kit away for the next time. Now I'm going to grab myself some pool shock. I usually pick mine up at Costco because I think I get a better bang for my dollar. If I'm out of this stuff, I usually go to my nearest Canadian Tire and pick up some liquid chlorine. One or two jugs to shock it. So this is 70 socket. The 70 means 70% 70 hypochlorite. It's best to use 65 to 70%. It says it's fast acting, powerful shock treatment for crystal clear water, controls bacteria and algae in swimming pools and water, chlorinating granules. 
also says it balances, sanitizes, shock, and prevents algae. This is 454 grams, which is one pound. My pool is 16 by 32 feet with a deep end, which is approximately over 20,000 gallons. So one pound of this shock should do the trick, but if I see a little bit of green algae, I'll use two pounds of this shock. Now I used to sprinkle the shock granules along the side of the pool. But I've noticed at the side of my pool, right about here, my pool liner has started to fade. So now I mix the granule in hot warm water in a plastic container. In the interest of safety, you should wear safety goggles or safety glasses here. Latex gloves would also be good. Also, always do this outside in the fresh air. Then slowly pour the shock into the water. Never put water into the shock. Then give it a good stir. Now I'll put this brew away, away from the hot sun and wait until the sun goes down or at night since that is the best time to shock the pool. In the meantime, I'm going to check out my skimmer basket. I always like to leave one puck in the skimmer basket. I've been doing this for many years since I've taken out my automatic chlorinator and I haven't had any problems. Just fair warning. If you have a pool heater, I would not suggest doing this because the acidity of this chlorine puck will ruin your pool heater. Now I'll check out my floating duct chlorinator. Well, it looks low. I usually like to have two or three pucks in there. When handling the puck, I try not to touch it directly. Well, all right, the sun has come down, so it's time to shock the pool. And everyone has finished swimming. And it's time to give it another good stir. But before we do that, just to let you know, you should wear an old shirt for this because I always seem to get a bleach on my shirt when I do this. Also notice, I try to avoid the stairs. Also, after shocking the pool, you should wait at least 8 hours before going swimming. That's why it's best to do this at night. And I try to dump the rest of the shock at the center deep end of the pool. Then I usually check my chlorine level half an hour to an hour later. But I'll check it tomorrow morning. So the next day, let's check out our chlorine. All right, let's do this again. Pool water at the line level. Four drops of the yellow bottle auto. And four drops of the red bottle phenol. Give it a good shake. All right, 
Looks like the chlorine is a little bit high, but that's okay. I've got hot 90 degree weather coming these couple of days. That hot sun is going to be burning off that chlorine very quickly. And it looks like my pH is still a little low, but we'll be taking care of that in my next video. So if you liked my video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.